can't believe oh it. Oh my gosh, she has teeth or something in there. All right, I want to welcome you to this episode of BTR Outdoors. And on this episode, I'm going to show you what salted baits look like after being salted for 96 hours and 120 hours. I'm going to show you what they look like, how to put them on a hook, and how I, I bag them up and get them ready for fishing. Also, I didn't get to go fishing this weekend because we had a norther blow through and the temperatures were just too low. So hopefully I'll get to go fishing pretty soon. But one of the problems I, I'm running up against is I have regular shrimp that's open in my refrigerator that I had left over. And so I'm going to have to freeze those. Also the Kool-Aid shrimp that I made has already been in the refrigerator for five days and after seven days um, you really need to discard that stuff because remember the Kool-Aid wasn't salted so I'm going to go ahead and salt those and get them ready for fish. So let's get going and I'll show you how all this works. Okay let's check these shrimp. They have been salted now for 96 hours. Just left out here in the barn. All right, let's see. Knock off some of the salt. Oh man, that feels, that's perfect. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you. Here's just a regular hook. Let's take a, Look at that. We literally had to push it through. That's perfect. That's going to stay on that hook really well. Most of the time I would do something kind of like something like that. different ways you can hook it. Another hook I like to use is just a little eagle claw barbed hook bait holder for littler sizes. Just something like that. Makes it super super simple. Even with all the holes poked in it, I hope they caught that kind of a pop. But yeah, that's uh, that is perfect. You know, with little pieces like that, cast that out as far as you want to. It's not going nowhere. All right, let's start bagging some of these up. I just want to show you what it looked like on a hook. And went ahead and went and labeled these. This is this will be the salted shrimp. Alright, pull that down in there. Alright. That's all, and the good thing about this is I can reuse this salt. We got a nice little mess of a salted shrimp bait. I'll just seal this up. I can leave it right out here in the barn. It's been out here 96 hours. There's literally no smell to it. it smells like shrimp. Stuff will last. It's still got a little salt in there, and you could add a little bit more salt if you wanted to. Yeah, but I think that's plenty for uh, what I do is still got salt on the shrimp, but there you go. That's your salted shrimp. All right, let's check out this garlic shrimp. Now, this is the first time that I've actually opened this one in 96 hours. Oh yeah, that feels pretty good to see. That's perfect. Perfect. Let me go ahead and get all these out. 
Now this salt does have a little bit more moisture into it than the other one. I don't know if something with the garlic powder had something to do with that. I'm not sure. But I will let this dry out so I can reuse it again. And it's already got the garlic flavoring. Make sure I get all these shrimp out. Yeah, this one does have a lot more moisture in it than the other uh, regular salted shrimp. And I got a bag for that. I just labeled it garlic salted shrimp. I'm just going to put this in here. And then what I like to do is I like rolling it up. Get all the air out of it and then I'll seal it up. There you go. I got my garlic shrimp and my regular salted shrimp. Got them bagged and labeled, ready to go fishing. All right. So these, we are looking at, what did I say? 120 hours. Oh man, those are beautiful. And they still smell like fresh shrimp. Oh yeah, that's tough. I like it. That's going to be perfect. Right, let's go through here. Look at those good pieces of shrimp. This is a batch I made up 24 hours prior to filming one little episode. And you can see, here's that TV shrimp I was talking about. Super small compared to with some regular shrimp I bought from the store and it's the same price. Look how small that stuff is. I'm gonna show you a little bit closer look the difference between these shrimp. But these shrimp are perfect. Make sure I got it all. Alright. I want to show you, this is that TV bait shrimp that you buy um, any kind of local supermarket, Walmart. It's five bucks. It's just little pieces. There was no big ones in there. And you can see. Then I went to the seafood section. Got some packaged shrimp. That was five dollars. Look at that. Huge difference in size. All right, like I said, that's 120 hours, so I'm gonna package that up and it'll be ready for fishing also. All right, so since I couldn't go fishing, I'm taking this great Kool-Aid shrimp. It's been in my refrigerator. So I could either freeze it like I did the regular shrimp because it can stay in there for about, I think it's been five days, it can stay in there for seven days before you have to throw it out once you open the package. So I went ahead and froze the regular shrimp until I can go fishing again, but I'm gonna go ahead and salt these grape ones. Right. It's probably gonna be messy. Shake some of this Kool-Aid off. There you go. So I'll shove it down in there. I don't have that many pieces. Cover it up. Give it another little spot. Shove it down in there. 
tell you what, this great shrimp and makes it look so black. It's got a really cool smell to it. This, uh, I'm not saying I'm gonna go eat grape flavored shrimp. Or not. So I got that down. It does kind of stain your hands, this Kool-Aid stuff, but I got that packed down. And I'll probably let it sit for a couple days and see how it goes. Probably flip it around. I'm getting better salt on it and stuff, but there you go. And the rest of the salt, I'm gonna take the lid off, sit outside and let it dry out so I can use it again. But there you go. I'll package all that stuff up and as soon as I can go fishing, I'm going to have me some good bait and we can test which one works better. Just a regular shrimp, salted shrimp, garlic salted shrimp, or <laughs> your uh, grape Kool-Aid shrimp. Alright, I want to thank you for watching this episode of BTR Outdoors. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And as always, uh, thank you for watching. If you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment. Uh, I've been getting a, a lot of comments about the salted bait. So, as soon as I can, I'm going to test these baits out as soon as the weather cooperates with me. And I want, I want to know your opinion. Which one do you think will work the best? Just the regular shrimp, the garlic shrimp, the salted shrimp, or the grape Kool-Aid shrimp? So leave me a comment what you think would uh, work the best, and we'll find out. All right, we'll catch you later. Y'all have a good one.